Welcome to the World Cup match between South Africa and West Indies at the Oval. You had a look at uh, the pitch a little earlier, Jim. What do you reckon? Well, Richie, this pitch is very dry and flat. The bowlers are going to have a hard time of it out here, although it might start to deteriorate as the match wears on. The batsmen should score plenty of runs, especially the side batting first. I'd bat first out here. Back to you, Richie. Dylan is to open the bowling for West Indies. Let's take a look at how the innings has gone so far. Dylan has finished with figures of four overs, no wicket for 31. Well, let's take a look at the scorecard. So they need 147 to win from 120 balls. It's great at Preston. Oh, that's close. He's out. Campbell makes his way back to the dressing room. That's gone high in the air. That's the first boundary for Chanderpaul. Straight up in the air. Chandler won't miss anything bowled too full. Everything was in the right place there. It fairly raced away to the boundary. West Indies will be looking to blast away from the start with fielding restrictions in place. Hines takes his place at the crease. The run rate stands at just under seven and over. Over pitch and driven for four. That's the first boundary for Hines. That's gone high in the air. That was beautifully turned off his legs for four. What a good placement. No one at home, over the top for four. That's a good shot. Hines moves into double figures with those runs. There it goes. The bowler doesn't look too happy about it. There might be a little bit more in the next one. The batsmen are looking for two. There's a mix up with the batsman. Over pitched and four. Hyans has moved into the 20s and is starting to look far more relaxed. That over helped the run rate somewhat. The fielding restrictions provide the opportunity for attacking batsmen to score some fast early runs. Donald to begin a new over. Now the run rate stands at just over six and over. There it goes. Chanderpaul moves into double figures with those runs. Donald continues. It's high in the air. For the crowd, the hook is a spectacular action shot. He's beaten all ends up by that one. 
He really shattered the stumps for that one. What a cracking delivery. It went straight through him. Chanderpaul goes for only 18. He's gone. First ball. He really shattered the stumps for that one. He was bowled all over the place. Lara makes his way back to the dressing room. There it goes. That's a demoralising sight for any bowler, seeing the ball sail over the fence. Pollock to begin a new over. Now the run rate stands at just over five and a half and over. There it goes. Pollock. Only over pitch very slightly, but it was punished. Magnificent shot. The on drive is one of the hardest shots to play, and he is one of the great exponents of it. He looked as if he was home to me. That was a nasty bouncer from Pollock. Well, he might be a little nervous coming forward to the next delivery. Donald to bowl to Hooper. The run rate stands at just under five and a half and over. Played into the gap. That's gone high in the air. Donovan had a lot of ground to cover there. That went up miles. It had snow on it by the time it came down. Hines goes for 29. Samuels takes guard. There it goes. That's the first boundary for Samuels. Samuels waiting at the striker's end. Oh, he's dropped it. That's the end of the fifth over. Pollock to bowl to Hooper. Now the run rate stands at just over five and a half and over. Stopped by Adams. There's a mix up with the batsman. I think he was easily back in the crease there. Pollock to Hooper. Played, but uh, the fielder will cut that one off. That takes him into double figures. Pollock to Samuels. Pollock to Samuels. He's gone over the top of that, and it looks like four runs. He certainly saw that one early. That was beautifully played. He was well over the top of the ball. Samuels waiting at the striker's end. He's worked that into the gap. That takes him into double figures. 14 overs are left in the innings. Donald. 
to begin a new over. Now the run rate stands at just over five and a half and over. Great shot by Samuels. That was a superb placement. That was a nicely timed shot. You don't need to smash the ball to the boundary every time. Donald continues. What a superb catch that is. That was a lazy shot. He didn't get over it at all. Samuels goes for 14. Donald to Powell. Those are the first runs for Powell. Gosh, uh, that must have hurt. Well, that'll certainly beat the fielder into the fence. Donald is not impressed. You really can't afford to give this player that kind of room. That's four runs every time. 13. Overs are left in the innings. Pollock to begin a new over. The run rate stands at just under five and over. Not time perfectly, but um, they'll get some runs anyway. Hooper is now facing. That's straight up in the air. Pollock is not impressed. Oh, great shot. That was four from the moment it left the bat. Four all the way. Cooper has moved into the 20s and is starting to look far more relaxed. That's too full and it's been punished. He played that with superb timing. Perfectly played. He got right over that ball and played it with a nice straight bat. He's worked that into the gap. That's straight up in the air. Fielded in the deep by Cullis. There's a mix-up with the batsman. 16 runs came from that over for West Indies. We're about to see the first bowling change. Now the run rate stands at just over four and over. He smashed that one right out of the ground. The bowler can't believe it, but it is out of the ground. Six runs. It's in the air. Perfectly timed shot for four. The bowler didn't do too much wrong there. It was just an excellent shot. It's in the air. Played oh, that with superb timing. He plays that shot really well and it brings him lots of runs. The batsman will have to run these. Lusner to bowl to Powell. There it goes. That's the first boundary for Powell. Ooh, that looked quite nasty. Nineteen runs came from that over by Klusener. There's a change in the bowling for South Africa. Now the run rate stands at just over three and over. That's gone high in the air. That flattered into the boards. What a good placement. No one at home. Over the top before. Cooper waiting at the striker's end. If he runs here. Kemp to bowl to Cooper. Oh. I'm 
Sorry, Richie, but there really isn't any excuse for missing those. Kim, the ball to Bell. Played into the gap. Kim to Cooper. There it goes. Now he needs to get his head down again and aim for the next landmark. His 50 has come up off 20 balls. Powell waiting at the striker's end. That's a big hit. It'll go all the way. This partnership is now 55. That's the end of the 10th over. Loosener to begin a new over. A required run rate looks a fairly comfortable one and a half and over. Not time perfectly, but um, they'll get some runs anyway. Yeah. Loosener to Cooper. That's gone high in the air. A superb catch from Clusen. That was moving pretty quickly and he did well to cling onto it. Cooper has gone for 52. That was a fine innings from Cooper. Jacobs takes his place at the crease. It's in the air. That's the first boundary for Jacobs. Clusen the ball to Jacobs. Played into the gap. Klusner at the start of his run up. A long hop and punished. He was onto that in a flash. What an exciting square cut. He hit it really hard and the ball just crashed into the cover boundary. There it goes. Powell has moved into the 20s and is starting to look far more relaxed. Kemp to begin a new over. The required run rate looks a fairly comfortable one and over. There it goes. He's timing the ball perfectly today. That was a good shot. He saw it early and got into position quickly. Jacobs facing. It's in the air. That takes him into double figures. West Indies move on to on 50. So to sum up then, West Indies win by four wickets. Well, let's take a look at the scorecard. These are the bowling figures. Kemp now has figures of one overs, no wicket for 23, 